Cold, clear November Monday, the end of an era in Atlanta. I didn't think the stadium was that old. Amazing how, my, how quickly they can just bring something that's so huge with such history, though. You know, bring it down. I thought it'd go inside, but it's like it just sunk. It's the best experience ever. And in 12 seconds, it is gone. Down goes the dome, an unforgettable morning, an unforgettable moment in the history of Atlanta. The Georgia Dome being reduced to piles of concrete, steel, and dust. But once all that dust settled, we were left with one lingering question so many people were asking about. An image of this remaining part of the dome, this wall that did not fall. People were asking, was this intentional? Did something go wrong? Our 11 Live Facebook live stream reached more than 2 wow. million people, and those comments were swift. <laughs> You missed a spot. Oops, somebody forgot the dynamite. That's what people were saying. Everybody becomes an expert on demolition. That's yes. how it works. Deborah Tuff went back to the scene of the implosion to answer the trending question of the day. So, Deb, why is that wall still standing? You know what? Debris and dust are falling from the sky like pelts of snow. And these two walls are getting their last standing ovation. the aftermath of the dome implosion. The results that we have achieved have been uh, extraordinarily successful. A gleaming Mercedes-Benz Stadium overlooking the old glory of what once was the Georgia Dome, a small Georgia Dome sign among the rubble, along with two walls that refused to crumble. It's pretty normal for a demolition implosion effort of this type to have a small percentage of the remaining structure intact. And experts say that small percentage of wall was not the priority of the implosion. Instead, the roof and other walls were. Our focus and our explosives and the prior detonation was all focused to make the dangerous part come down. The parts are down along the GWCC, they're down along the Mercedes Benz, and all the upper levels down. But are these two walls safe? From our current visual inspections, we can see that the concrete looks like it's fully intact, meaning the frame, the columns, and everything was intact on that section, so it all appears to be structurally sound. And if explosives are still left in the remaining walls, that's being assessed. Any explosives, if any, that are in there are, cannot go off. They have no wire charge to them any longer. So it's the same process as putting them in. Once again, the site is expected to be cleaned up by February 18th of next year. Now, next Tuesday, the 28th, officials will meet to talk about the demolition and any new updates. Live from the site of the old Georgia Dome, Deborah Tuff, 11 Alive News. And the walls came tumbling down. Almost. But not all of them. Thank you. <laughs> Nearly 2 million people saw our coverage. So